Hey, Interwebs, it's Warsaw Blondie signing in. Welcome to my new COD mini series called How to Get a Girl. There's gonna be multiple videos on uh, using COD gameplay. Please do not judge my COD gameplay. I have not played COD in an extremely long time. And in fact, this is something off my hard drive and it's not even good. It's just gameplay. So ignore the terribleness of it and let's get to it. So the very first thing you need to know is how the hell do I qualify to help you out and why should you listen to me? Number one. I have been able to predict every single problem within a relationship just by looking at the people, the two, you know, the couple. I've been able to see if they'll break up. I even know when they'll break up. That is legitimately, I've done that five or six times now, when they'll break up type idea. And I also know that a couple couples will just be together forever. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I have yet to come across of a couple that's, that's gonna be together unless they were in their 20s and I, I could just see it by looking at them. However, you know, where, where's the proof? Um, I don't really have proof, but I can just tell you I've been right on many occasions and I got the idea from a video I saw and I wanted to, well I didn't see, I just saw the thumbnail and I wanted to try and help out the males on this channel uh, help them, you know, get that girl, regardless of your age, and this will acquire to every and any age, and yeah, so let's get started. So the very first thing you need to know is your league. Why, why are we talking about me when I need to know? What to, what to do about girls? Well, the reason is, is because you need to know your league so you actually go for the right girl. If you go for the wrong girl, things will not go in your favor and you will not get it. Her, unless you're extremely lucky and you play your cards right, which does not happen a ton of times. So what are you gonna do? Well, that's, uh, let's, let's find out your league. So there's three aspects in your league. There's your personality, there's your looks, and then there's popularity. Now popularity, I have to say, is a huge factor and can outweigh both looks and um, personality. However, that doesn't mean you can move up in the popularity ranks and those always change. But two things that never change are your personality and your looks. And you know, your looks do change over time depending if you've gone through puberty or if you decide to do something new like you shave or what have you. But realistically, you're always gonna look the same. You're always gonna act the same unless you know something small happens. And there are gonna be small changes, but nothing too big too dramatically. However, in popularity, you can jump from one popularity to another, or one click to another click to another click. And just like a snap of the fingers, it's really, really, really easy. Um, I did it, I'm not at my old elementary school, but my other elementary school, and I prefer being more on the lonelier side just because it's nicer there. People are amazing, and I do prefer those people. However, that doesn't mean, you know, you can just go from one click to another click in a day. You need to have a friend in there, and how do you make friends? Well, you talk to them. It's kind of hard especially for people like me who are extremely shy. So if you're extremely shy, well, now you know where your click's gonna be. It's gonna be in the lower um, spectrum of the popularity scale. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So what are you gonna do? So the first thing I need you guys to ask yourself is how well do you take care of yourself? And this is really gonna depend on you know what you look like. I'm just gonna talk about looks and personality and then popularity. Well, yeah, I already did popularity, but looks. So, how well do you take care of your, your body? Well, do you shower every day? Do you use cologne every day? Do you wash your body every day? Do you, you know, take care of your nails? Are they long? Are they gross? You know, what? What do you eat? Because what you eat will determine on how smooth your skin is. If you have any problems, blemishes, so on and so forth through your skin will also depend on what you put in your body. Um, you know, you have to ask all these questions. 
And if you ask all those questions and you realize to yourself that you're doing an amazing job of taking care of your body, you are probably smoking hot. Now, I don't know what you look like, but I'm sure a lot of girls are looking at you, checking you out all the time because, well, girls tend to cling to cleaner, classier guys. Unless, you know, they like the bad donkey type of guy. Are you one of those people? You know, it, it all depends. If you are one of those cleaner guys who take care of themselves, like I said, you're probably more on the good looking side. You're probably cute or something, whatever. Girls are going to look at you. You're probably good. If you are not, tips. One, have a shower every day. Two, shave if, if you need to. Shave your facial hair. You don't need to shave anywhere else. Some girls are kind of into the hair. Other places, I don't need to go into that. <laughs> I don't need to go into that. But, um, you know, take care of yourself. Don't eat pizza every day. I know it's tempting. Being a gamer, I love pizza. And I have to eat pizza all the time. But I don't. I actually eat pizza maybe once or twice a month. And that is like scratching like sometimes I don't even have pizza the entire month and that's just because I have to watch what I eat I have to watch what's put I'm putting into my body so then you know my skin reflects it you know learn you know all the health things like are you having like mini wheats or or Captain Crunch or or what have you for breakfast or are you having some all brand cereal are you making yourself food every morning? You know, are you eating three times a day? Or if you're eating four times a day, I don't know why, it's not good. And if you're eating three times a day, are you eating consecutively from, you know, first part of the day when you wake up, lunch and dinner, and they're always eating at the same times? That's great, that is absolutely amazing. You're already on the right track if you are. All right, so. <sighs> Got that out of the way. Next is your personality. Personality, well, I just have to say one thing. You have to love yourself before you can love anyone else or like anyone else or anything like that. So how do you, how do you, how do you become a good personality? Well, the first thing you need to know is have a clean mind. Always think what the other person, how the other person feels. You know, if you feel like something whenever something happens are they gonna feel similar or are you gonna be completely two different thoughts you know don't judge anyone judge yourself against yourself don't compare don't judge just compete only with yourself because if you do that you will be upset you will be cranky you will be stressed and if you're stressed you'll have cystic acne which is also terrible um and, and so and so much more. And by the way guys, I know some of you cannot control, but you can control a lot. So good luck. I wish you luck and I'll see you next time. Seriously. See ya! It's Warsaw Blenny, signing out.